what I want to show you is when you depress this little uh, pedal, the water is supposed to come out that little hole, but in fact, as you can see, it's hopefully you can see it's just coming out all over the place. So now on these frigid airs, it's going to start with this little bottom drip tray right here, and these little ears on the outside edge are kind of like little grippy, and you have to kind of just work this shake on it and eventually this thing will slide right straight out and you can get this little drip tray out and once you do that then there'll be three screws what i'm going to do is before i take this front plate off is i'm going to go ahead and unplug the refrigerator and now if you shake this around a little bit it should kind of lift up and out and i'll flip it upside down where you can kind of see uh, anyway, it's got these three screws, two in the bottom, and then one on the top up here. Once we get those out, then we should be able to uh, get back and see where that tube is coming in. Okay, I'm getting the third and last final screw out of this little electronic panel. And we've got this unplugged, so hopefully we won't be getting shocked. And once we pull this out, still hooked up by a little plug over here on the left but I'm going to just try and leave that plugged in and there's you can see that's the tube and it's supposed to be feeding a little hole right down inside of there uh, so anyway I'm going to try and put a little adapter into the hose line and see if I can't extend it I don't know how well you can see that but it looks like this and what I'm going to do is heat this up with a little uh, my wife's uh, hair dryer so it's a little more pliable uh, and it'll receive these little barbs on this uh, little adapter. Okay, let's see if that's got it warm enough to receive this quarter inch adapter. Yeah, it looks like it's going to go in there all right. Okay, now what I'm going to try and do is get that to jam right down in that little hole and uh, hopefully that will give it the length that's needed to uh, for it to not spill out. Okay, I think I finally got it through and now you can see that right here the tip of that little uh, adapter is now sticking out through uh, that little dispenser hole so hopefully that will hold it in place okay now I want to get these uh, three screws that hold this electronics plate back into uh, place Ken, now I'm going to put the little face plate back on and it's got three little screws that hold it on down at the bottom okay let's get these last of these three screws for this face plate put back in. I'm going to get a little trough it's got to slide right into. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug it back in and we'll test it out. Okay, now we'll go ahead and test it out. And as you can see it's shooting a nice clean straight stream of water. So mission accomplished.